The little girl's parents, Regis Johnson and Arhonda Tillman, and another family member, Frank Robertson, are all accused of withholding food from the baby month after month until she couldn't hold out any longer and finally died. When we did the medical examination, that child had zero food in her stomach. At one point back in 2019, the family was on the radar of the Department of Children and Families. The case was closed after an undisclosed period of time after investigators felt Johnson and Tillman were feeding the two-year-old better and she was improving. That's typically what happens according to former prosecutor and family law attorney Joshua Sheraton. If the child was gaining weight over the period of time, if they had done welfare checks or surprise checks and the refrigerator was full and you know the house was clean and all these sorts of things, if that happens enough over a period of time and they're not terminating parental rights, at some point they'll say, okay, We've done what we can do here and kind of closed the book. It's unclear if the state ever followed up, but one thing is clear. Other players in the state's child protective system paint a picture of DCF as an agency under duress. I stopped short of throwing stones at this point in the investigation at DCF because DCF is called to hundreds of events every day. Heartland for Children, one of the community agencies that contracts with the state to adopt out and foster kids, just released this statement. This case is an example of why a strong child welfare system with a stable workforce, adequate resources, services and supports is so important. There are still a lot of questions that need to be answered to understand the full picture. So it appears at this point, DCF may have followed its own protocols, but the question is, was that enough? And usually what happens is something like this that causes people to take attention and look at how can we make this better? So, you know, hopefully maybe this triggers some kind of reform. Before the next child dies of starvation or abuse. And I can tell you that we've reached out to DCF multiple times over the last 24 hours for a response, a written statement, something, but we haven't gotten anything at this point. Back to you. And Ken, much like what we went through with uh, learning about security over the last 10 years and terrorism, probably a horrible analogy, but it reminds me uh, uh, of something we just need to come back to think about is if you see something, say something. And, and if we see that the system like this maybe just isn't quite set up to protect this child, maybe one day they're, they're, maybe they were neighbors, maybe there's something else, maybe there's another case. Just want to remind people if they ever see something, a situation like this where they want to question, make sure they contact somebody. Uh, who knows if it would have made a difference here. It's, uh, it's tragic indeed, though.